Hello, I'm Janelle and I live in a van with my pet snake, Alfredo. Alfredo is currently in shed right now, so I'm not going to be bothering him, but he will hopefully be available next video. What's going on, my dudes? What is up? The world has been invaded by a virus and many of you guys have asked me how I am dealing with it. For the past week, I have been parked in front of my friend's house in Los Angeles. Um, as you guys know, I do not have a shower or bathroom inside of my van and most public places are closed. Gyms are closed, yoga studios are closed, which is the two places that I mainly shower and use a bathroom. Um, most restaurants have been shut down as well. So I have just been parked in front of my friend's house using their amenities, hanging out with them, watching movies. We've all been kind of social distancing and in terms of food, I don't really have very much space to store food. My fridge is currently not running and honestly, I can't really store much in there anyways. So I've just been ordering food to the house and then coming back in here to like hermit and eat my food. Uh, I'm planning on going back up north to spend time with my family and I'll be parking my van up there. And depending on how this whole thing plays out, I am anticipating staying pretty stagnant for the time being and not doing so much travel. There is something that I've been wanting to do for a very long time and I don't know why, I just haven't done it. So if you guys didn't know, after I graduated high school, I completely buzzed my hair off. I don't know why I went like this. I definitely went through a lot of awkward phases while I was growing it back out. And during that time, I attempted to give myself like fake dreads just so that I can have long hair again. And I gave up halfway because it just took forever, but there's no better time than now that I'm isolating myself in this van, which is not new. So this is my arsenal of tools. So I have all the hair extensions in here, a spray bottle, brush, more brushes, comb, hair ties, argon oil, leave-in conditioner, scissors, and a snack. So I'm ready, baby. Last time I attempted this, it took me about 12 hours to do half of my head. So I'm hoping that I can be a little bit more efficient this time. Let me tell you one, what really inspired me to do this. So I was at Target like a few weeks ago and there was this woman who looked exactly like me, but she was like 60 years old and she had hair that was like the same texture as mine, but it was platinum gray. Is that even a color? It was gray. It was like a beautiful silver color and it was like down to her like right there. Was that your waist? Her hips it was down to her hips and it was beautiful and i was like i used to really care about how long my hair was when i was younger and now i just continue to cut it because i prefer to have voluminous hair versus long hair but after seeing her hair i was like if i want to have hair like yours i have to start now like that's probably to get my hair curly to like here it's probably like 40 years of growth, so I have to start now. So I've officially decided that I'm not gonna cut my hair anymore. And then I went on the interweb and looked at ways that I can grow my hair faster, or at least protect my hair. So there's these things called protective styles and fake dreads are one of them. And it was cool because I wanted fake dreads anyway. So I really like my curly hair and you guys can tell right now, but I just gave myself curly bangs and I love it. So I'm just super excited to be 60 years old with gray, long curly hair. That's the moral of the story. I'm gonna stop talking now. We're gonna get right into it because this is gonna take me forever. But I've downloaded a couple movies. I'll be sure to order some food. We're gonna make a day out of it. Let's go. Nowhere because we're staying in here. Okay, so first things first is we have to section off my hair. All right. I'm gonna be using this mirror here as well. Other than that one time I've attempted this, I have never had extensions in my hair. I've never had braids or like any of that. I'm really excited. This is the first piece and I want them to be like right at my pelvic bone. I'm just honestly guessing. I watched a couple tutorials, but I got impatient. So I just, I'm going to do it my own way seems to be working so I'm just braiding in this curly hair into my curly hair and then I have coarser hair to wrap around it so I'm gonna finish a couple more braids and then I will catch you momentarily hello the last time we've spoke it was 3 p.m. it is currently 
11.27 p.m. and I'm about halfway done. I've ordered pizza and carrot cake and matcha, but I ate the pizza and drank the matcha already, so I'm just gonna enjoy this carrot cake. Um, so, as you can see, I've made progress. This is not a tutorial in any way, shape, or form. I have made a lot of mistakes. I have been stationed right here in my mirror. My knees hurt so bad. I have not moved for eight hours. I think I might have went a little overboard. I definitely wanted them to be like bulky and long, but I think I made them a little too long and too bulky. I went through a lot in the past eight hours. So my first step was to section my hair and braid it with an extension into it. So then I have this like curly pattern at the end which is like very similar to my natural curl pattern and then i grabbed two pieces of this coarser hair reflecting on my progress now i probably could have just used one because these things are like it's not perfect because this is probably not the correct way to do this this is gonna be such a pain to take out because every little thing is gonna be all right still have a little bit of a ways to go so I'm going to add one more piece. So I end up using like five pieces per dreadlock, which is, I think, too many. <laughs> I don't even know how my hands are like still working. Anyway, how has your day been? Anything exciting? I still have a little bit of energy left, so I, I'm gonna braid this half and then probably call it a night and we'll finish the rest in the morning and then when I get to the end I just like wrap it super tightly and then hope for the best and I just kind of go like this I don't even know if that does anything but I saw someone else do it so I'm guessing it does I'm trying to take a thumbnail but I'm just so you know when you like look at yourself but you're like Is that me? That's what I'm feeling. Okay. Okay, so I will catch you when I have this side braided. All right, I am back. I have braided the side of my head and then tomorrow I will do this to, to the side. I am so tired. It is currently 3.31 a.m. and um, I gotta go to bed. Also, my van battery died. Listen, listen to this. So we're calling AAA in the morning. Shout out AAA. You always save in my butt when I forget to turn my lights off. Okay, we'll finish this venture tomorrow. Many mistakes were made. The first one was starting to do this in the first place. I can literally feel my head is like <laughs> leaning this way. Okay, I'm gonna go to bed now. Good night. I'm actually gonna call AAA now. Um, I was about to go to sleep and then I just felt weird that my battery was dead. So we're gonna be up for a little while. I don't know if you guys can hear, but my van's running again. Um, I was gonna vlog like the guy jumping my car, but it's 4 a.m. and I don't think either of us wanna be on camera. So yeah, I have to run the car for like 30 to 45 minutes. And um, yeah, so I guess I'm just gonna stay up. Okay, the last time that we spoke, it was 5 a.m. I woke up at 10 a.m., did this half. I have one more piece somewhere to do. Here, found it. We're currently parked on the side of Highway 1. I left my friend's house and now we're somewhere between Malibu and Ventura because I just needed to be next to the ocean. This is where we are. What have I done? <laughs> <laughs> I 
I am at least 10 feet taller. <sighs> guys, 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 guys. Ow! I got caught in my earring. I'm trying to calculate how long this took me. So, I'm gonna say it took about 20 hours of caffeine, Netflix, and a lot of hair extensions. Was it worth it? A hundred percent. I've been trying to do this for so long and I was just scared that it was gonna take 20 hours. But it wasn't so bad. Good afternoon. Um, so I drove back last night in front of my friend's house in LA to sleep and then I decided that I want to drive back to that spot that's in between Malibu and Ventura that we were at last night. It's pretty warm right now and I want to take a bunch of pictures with my hair because I'm taking them out tonight. I know I've only had them for like a day but or like a day and a half but my neck is killing me and I, I miss my curls already. So I'm gonna take a few pictures at the beach and then I'm gonna call it a day and this is probably gonna take me like the rest of the day to take out. So that is the plan. I'm wearing this olive green bikini set that I've had since middle school and then this like old swimsuit cover up. And, and I'm thinking that I wanna wear eyeshadow. I'm gonna pick this like olive green color and like just swipe it on my eyelid. Eater, eater, eater. I wear makeup, but I never wear eyeshadow because I don't know how to do it and I don't own any eyeshadow brushes. So there's actually quite a lot of people on the beach and I think for the sake of social distancing, I'm not gonna go. Um, so I think we're just gonna call it a day and I'm gonna take out these locks cause my head hurts so bad. Okay. I'm done. So many. <laughs> Why did I do this? Okay. They're shorter. I feel so much lighter. Okay, now I'm gonna take out these braids. This is what's gonna take like friggin' forever. Oh, I can't wait to wash my hair and have my little curly bangs again. Cut my life into pieces. This is my last resort. I'm literally going insane. Okay. This is real, this is me. Braids are out. My hair is like 90s crimped now, but moral of the story is um, don't do that. But this was a fun experience and I'm glad that I did do it because now I know not to do that again. Um, I'm gonna drive back to my friend's house and give my hair a good wash. She needs some TLC, you know, but I'm getting a little lengthy, guys. I'll be like that lady I saw at Target in no time. Game plan is to drive back up north to be with my family, and then I'm gonna work on this freaking RV, baby. Not this one, the other one. Anyways, I'm gonna stop talking now. Toodles.